Howdy folks, welcome to episode two. Today we're going to continue where we left off. And yeah, so we finished up, I finished up this deposit here, as you saw at the end of last episode, and I had a little bit of an adventure getting the constructor out of there. But yeah, I eventually did, and so we're going to grab this thing and get on the bike, and I think we're going to head up to where this Prometheum is. So we're going to try to get that, and I'd probably be able to build on the side of a mountain there. And so that's going to be the plan. So we're going to head up there, and we'll see what we can get as far as... Um, let me see. I'm trying to decide whether I want to like try to discover anything else. I don't think I want to do that right now. I think we will do that once we get everything built. But yeah, we're going to get a base going. So I did craft all the parts for that, as you see there, and which I'll show you again when I stop. But yeah, I got all that stuff crafted and everything, and so I'm going to head up here to the base, and I'll meet you up there in a second. Alright, we're going to stop and grab some of this stuff here. Let me see. I'm going to grab some of this stuff here real quick, so that I can, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just just because I want to be able to heal in case I need it, and I think I have a few of them. I only have two, and I have some of my hot bar too, so I didn't even check there. But yeah, and I don't know when the critters are going to come out either, so I do need to kind of hurry here at the beginning, because I do want to get a base, and I'm probably going to have to fight for Matt. I'm pretty sure I set the Prometheum deposits to 100% chance of being guarded, although maybe, I don't know, maybe that's one of the drones I shot? But yeah, I think, I don't know, maybe it was a 90% chance. Well, there's drone over there anyway, see? So yeah, and I think once I set down a base, I am definitely going to have, um, I'm definitely going to have to, to deal with them. So let me see here, we can go, it is over here, it's right down there. Okay, so we're going to go like this, which is actually kind of perfect, I think. It's in the side of a hill. Uh-oh, is it? He's shooting at me. Yep, he is shooting at me. All right, let's go here. Whoops, he's out of range. Now, one of the things you want to know about drones is that little red spot on the face, if you can hit it, that red spot is the headshot for them. So if you're using a weapon that does headshot damage, then you want to hit them there, right there in the face. So yeah, and... You hit F6, there we go. You can see it a little bit better. But yeah, with the pistol, I think it's double damage. I'm not positive about that, but yeah. There we go. Alright. So we can get that guy. And you definitely want to loot the drones early game because they do have some good stuff on them. Yeah, see, you get, you get the oscillators and the cobalt alloy, both of which are useful. So let's see here. If that other drone, I think, I think he lost interest. Let me see. And so you saw on the way over, where'd the Prometheum deposit go? So yeah, on the way over, I think you saw, we went past a whole bunch of vegetables and stuff like that. And so yeah, we should be able to, is there? Okay, there's a couple here. But yeah, we should be able to, um, let me see, we're gonna place this thing down too, so that we can put stuff in it. Let me see, is there, a, yeah, we can get this stuff going. We can get this these ores cooking. There we go, and I can do that. There we go, okay, so we can get those ores cooking. Do I have crushed stone? I can get some blocks cooking too. And yeah, we'll let those cook while we're getting this. We'll let those craft while we're... Did it, did it take two of them away? I think it might have, I think I'll have to look back, but I think it might have actually um, screwed me over on the, on the biofuel there just now. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to get this Prometheum, and I will be back in just a minute. Alright, we got the Prometheum rock here. There we go, 32. And so I want to go back up here. It looks like I've got a... Perfect. What I want to do... Whoa! Because, whoa! That is going to be a broken leg. Ow! Ow! I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Um, I need a... I need a bandage. Yeah, that's great. So let me see. I need a bandage, which 
I can make with plant fibers and plant protein. Okay, so I can make one right now. All right, I need to do that. I definitely need to do that. <laughs> and apply that because, yeah, it's not good. So let's see here. We can fix our broken leg. Yeah, that's what I said is you do have to be careful about that. Let me see. Let me grab everything out of here. And we can take this. So now we've actually done this tunnel here so that it's around a corner so that we can put our base in here and drones cannot see it from the surface. And so we should be okay to basically hollow out this cavity here. And let me see here. Yeah, we can pretty much hollow out this cavity and make like a subterranean base. And so that's what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, let me see. I probably want to go over this way. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hollow some out this way, and let me see here. We can probably get yeah. Let me get a little bit of an area hollowed out, and then we can put up the pieces and start up our base. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, we've got some space now, as you see here. So I think this will be our little line. And I found, I seem to have found the perfect angle where I can angle right there and it'll make my area nice and flat here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this stuff, oops, I should probably keep the, should probably keep the gun on my hot bar and we're going to put down our base starter and that stuff. Okay. So we're going to put our core, I think we're going to see if we can put it there. Whoops. Like. Let me see if we can get a little bit farther back. Come on. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Trying to get it. There we go. Okay, so we can put our core there. Now, if you hit the page up and page down is what I was hitting. So if you hit page up and page down, it'll let you do that stuff. And there we go. We're going to put our fuel tank. I think I'm going to put it over here because I do want it um, away from where I'm going to be standing and stuff. I probably should dig this out just a little bit more before I put in the generator, because I do want the generator to be back here. So why don't I get this, get this so I can stick it back in there. Here, there we go. So we can do our generator here. Let me see, we're gonna launch our drone to do this, which is F5. For those of you who are new, you definitely wanna use the, the drone to do stuff when you can. Let me see, I think we're going like that. There we go, okay. Definitely want to use the drone to do things. And let me see, we can do this, connect. Let me see. Hit N and select the connected base. And now it will let you connect things in this way. Let me see, can I fit it over like that? That's what I wanted to do. And can I even, can I put it down another block? There we go. Okay, so trying to decide how I want to do that like that really <laughs> you're really gonna do that okay all right so we're gonna put down concrete blocks let me put this thing back down <laughs> it's one of the things I was actually planning on doing why won't it why can't I place the constructor it won't let me place the, oh because I've got the connect the base on all right so one of the things I was planning on doing for this series although I it wasn't a big deal for the beginning, but one of the things I want to do is turn off the stupid SI for exactly that kind of reason, um, because like it's not um, it's not like it's not like that made any sense for that to break because the half of the thing was buried in the rocks and stuff like that. But yeah, it's just uh, there's a lot of I run into so many ridiculous situations with it where it breaks where. Like I said, you can't predict where it's going to break and everything. So, yeah, I don't plan on using it when I do a big build. I'm going to do a big build this time. I might even do a floating type base. So we're going to go back to this, connect. Whoops. I'm going to go like this, connect a base, and we're going to put these blocks here. Okay, and now we should be able to put our constructor on top of it. Like that. There we go. And now we can put all our stuff in here. And there we go. All right. So we can do that. We can put, we can get some fuel going. Let me see. I need biofuel. 
we're gonna put oh we have fuel right here that we probably got from the um from one of the drones so we'll put our fuel in here and we'll start this thing up hit our power key and we should be able to start crafting stuff here awesome awesome and one of the things I want to do is a food processor so that we can make food and meds and all that stuff and we can also it acts as a fridge and so we can store our stuff and yeah I'm really liking this crafting stuff instead of waiting like 20 minutes to craft anything that is really nice okay so we're gonna I'm gonna hollow out this a little bit here and I'm even gonna dig this out a little bit so I can get back here so yeah we're gonna start expanding the base out there we go we're gonna start expanding the base out a little bit here and see if we can get the other thing I want to do is I want to make either hovercraft or a let me see yeah it looks like the small vessel okay yeah I want to make a hovercraft anyway so I could I could level up to to seven to get the, the hover or the starter for the SV anyway but I think we're just gonna do this we're gonna go two three four of those one of those one of those one of those so you need a generator cockpit and fuel tank are the basics for that and we need four thrusters and we need a couple RCS's probably even make three of them this time and we're gonna make those and let me see what else I need I think that's it for right now and the other thing I need for the base is I do need and I hope I don't run out of stuff <laughs> the other thing I do need for the base is I need an armor locker and then I need to make me some armor so I can put that on so then we can actually start we can actually start going up into the mountains and not freezing to death and all that stuff so let's get our blocks here on here and we're gonna put up our food processor here and we can start putting this stuff in here so that it doesn't spoil whoops and I th think we might even need crushed stone in there but yeah we're gonna put that stuff and then I need to remember to grab it when I go out so don't let me forget do remind me <laughs> and let me see what else I need to make we can get our we can start building our hovercraft here in a minute and let me see here I'm trying to decide whether I want to build it up here or try to build it outside it is still like six hours to sunrise so maybe I should um, yeah I'm trying to decide whether I should wait for sunrise to try to build that or just do other stuff and I think this is our line anyway where we don't want to go past so yeah I think I'll let the rest of those finish crafting while we're doing this clear this out a little bit make us a little bit more space and I'm not sure if and when the drone attacks will begin either and all oh, that's the other thing I wanted to do the other reason I wanted to make a constructor is I need a decent weapon so we're gonna make an assault rifle yep we're gonna make an assault rifle now see I know there's people that get mad that I disable the tech tree and this is exactly why I don't find it relevant at all I need to get cobalt alloy I can't make any of the the higher tech stuff you can't really make it without um, without the materials anyway so it's not really like you get this massive you know all of a sudden everything in the universe is possible because you unlock the tech tree it's it's pretty much you still have to go out and get the materials and have the right constructor because everything is gated by constructors now too which is actually I really like um, so you know you can't build a lot of the advanced stuff you can't build it without the advanced constructor so we're gonna do, do this put on our armor and take off our helmet and let me see here so now in previous versions it was the case that you needed let me remember to do this before I get talking and forget what I'm doing so we need steel plates copper ingots and nitrocellulose okay so we're gonna make yeah we're gonna make 500 of those bullets and we're also going to make a Gatling gun and some Gatling gun bullets for the hovercraft but yeah it used to be the case that you needed the the helmet off if you wore your helmet while you were um, if you wore your helmet while you were 
while you were uh, on a planet or whatever, you would still use oxygen, and they did change that. Oh, that's the other thing I need before I start building this. I do need to put blocks, steel blocks on this thing. So why don't I... I can just do this. I don't need to fly my thing back to me. Okay, and did it run out? I think it ran out. What did I run out of? Did I run out of iron or copper? Let me see. Or something else. Nitrocellulose, maybe? Let me see. Where did that go? It keeps putting me back onto that page for some reason. Am I out of iron? I guess I'm out of iron. Okay, so I'm going to have to go get more iron. That's going to be my first quest once I get this thing going. And so what was the other thing I just said that I needed before I, before I make that? is I needed to do something else. Oh, blocks. And I'm not going to be able to make steel blocks because I'm out of iron. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is can I make a cargo box to put this stuff in? Small ammo box. I can make a small ammo box. Can I make a cargo box? I don't think I have... Let me see. Nope. Okay, I can't make a cargo box. I'm going to make a small... What is What is the... What is the cargo box? Why is it not even showing up? Let me see. It's this thing. Okay, that's interesting. It's not showing up on the on the search. But yeah, I need 12 steel plates to make that. Okay, I'm just going to make a small ammo box here. Not sure why that got turned off. Oh, it just went right to the output. That's why. Okay. We're going to put this down here. Yep, we're going to put that down over here. And I'm going to put the, S the HV parts in it. And we're just going to run out because I don't want to, with all the drones out here, I do not want to bring an unarmed hovercraft out. <laughs> That's just not a good idea. We'll say that. And we'll put it that way. <laughs> and let me see. What's the other thing I need? So I'm going to need to be able to, yeah, I'm going to need steel and iron to be able to, to do the... Um, to do the tier two drill also. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bike out. Let me see, where's the other iron deposit? It's right over here. So yeah, we're gonna run over to this iron deposit and we're gonna see if we can get some iron. And that's probably gonna be our adventure for this episode. Let me see. It was, yep, we're facing right toward it. I'm not even gonna bother marking it on the map. We should be just like 300, 400 meters from the marker, from where it shows up that is. So yeah, if you see there, there's a bunch of vegetables and stuff like that. We should be able to get vegetable protein. We should be able to get vegetable protein. And here we go. Why is it? Oh, you know what? It's because I, I had, uh, I had hit F6, if you recall. We're gonna do that. We're going to. I did bring the ammo, right? Yes. Okay. I need to load this thing before I forget. And yeah, we're going to, um, come on, there we go. Tell me it loaded. Yes, it did load it. Okay. So we're going to go over to here. Let me see. We're going to do this. And yeah, I'm going to drill out this iron deposit and I will be back in just a minute. All right. We got 281 iron and... And there's the OCD patch. Okay, so <laughs> we got 281. We should be able to get out of here. Come on. Let's see. We can go up this way. There we go. And up and out. Nice. Okay, so yeah, we should be able to head back. And I should be able to make a bunch of HV blocks. And see if we can get this thing built quickly. <laughs> and there we go. Now I know somebody, somebody who didn't watch the first episode, is gonna come in and comment and be like, "Dude, you could just drill, you could just mine with the drone. Why don't you just mine with the drone?" <laughs> right? You know, you know that's gonna happen. It always does. <laughs> and, and so yeah, that's for those of you who didn't watch the first episode for some reason. Um, yeah, you can't mine with the drone with this config. I turned it off. So it's part of the whole point of putting in a custom config, or for me anyway it was. And so yeah, let me see. I'm going to make, um, actually I'm going to make 50 
60 blocks. We're going to make 60 blocks, and we're going to get the hovercraft here. We're going to get the, the starter block. Oh, you know what? I need to... I need to get all this stuff out of the ammo box here first. And then I can also have this make ammo while I'm at it. There we go. We can have it make 10 of those. And I think I even need to pick up that ammo box. So I'm going to need a multi-tool, which means that in order to do that, I'm going to need Promethean pellets. Good. Okay, good. I can make multi-charges. Good. So let's see. Where is the... Where is the multi-tool? Where is it? There it is. There's the multi-tool. All right, so we've got our blocks. We've got our multi-tool because we need to pick up the ammo box so that we can put it on the the uh, hovercraft that we're going to build. And yeah, I, that drone over there kind of worries me. I get the feeling that we're going to end up fighting him off at some point. So let me see if we can go up here. We're going to put fuel tank generator and RCSs. Let's see, and cockpits, cockpit there, we're going to do that. So we're going to have to go out here and if something, come on, don't do that. If something decides to uh, attack my, is he coming? No, okay. So yeah, if something decides to attack my hovercraft, I am going to have to actually defend it. I'm not going to be able to just stand around. And let's see, we're going to retrieve blocks. And we're going to put the cockpit here. And I'm going to use this one because this is like, for whatever reason. Come on. Page down. Page down. Really? So for whatever reason, it's like the only cockpit that they don't um, ruin by making the, the, the glass black so you can't see through it from the inside. I don't know why they do that. There we go. I don't know why they do that, and it really annoys me. And so, yeah. If you look at the other cockpits from the inside, um, you can't see out. It's really annoying. So I'm gonna make the old standby. It's pretty much the same, the same, uh, the same ship I build almost all the time. Or it's they're fairly similar. I build all these little SVs, and they're fairly similar. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna do ammo box. We're gonna put on the gun on the front did i pick it up i don't think i picked it up i think it's still in the constructor okay so we're gonna put on our blocks here and let's see we're gonna do that and let me see might do this no i think we're gonna do this block here like that and i should probably put on a symmetry axis here so that it can actually do stuff here but let me see we're gonna go like this yeah let's put up a let's put up a yz let me see i'm gonna need to do this so you hit n select yz and then you click where you want the axis to be and then we can go like this and put these up here and i think we're just gonna do this sort of thing here and we're going to do the same thing there and come back a block here. So we're going to leave a hollow space here in our chassis. And then we're going to do, let me see, is my light off? No, it's just right before dawn. That's why it's really dark. Okay, so we're going to go like this. We can see we're going to put some blocks here like this and this. And maybe even put these. We'll put that and then we can put this little cut corner here. I kind of like that and make a little, some, some little spikies here. And then we can put these back behind it. So we have a little hollow space here and probably even punch out one of these and we can put in our thrusters. Let me see. I'm really worried about that drone because this thing is sitting still and it's a, if it's a rocket drone, that can be a problem. <laughs> we'll just say that. Okay, and let's see, we can go, we're gonna do our interior and our, let me see, I should have done the other one, our forward and our backward thrusters. 
Okay, I guess I can put that one sticking out here and we can do something like this. Whoops. Like that and that and even put these upside down like that. And is there anything else I wanted to put in there? I don't think there is. And if there is, I can still get underneath it. So the other thing I wanted to get, whoops, is I wanted to get the hover engines on here. So let's get these hover engines on here. Let's get some blocks out here. We can go like this maybe. And let me see, like that. And we're gonna put our hover engines on. And then I need to grab the machine gun that I made. Let me see, you know what? I forgot to turn on my jetpack because I have armor now. So let's see, we have, where did it go? Did it just not, did I not have what I needed to craft it? Is that what happened? Because I ran out of, yeah, I'll bet that's what it was. I probably ran out of stuff and it couldn't craft. Okay, so we're gonna let that craft. We're gonna throw it on the front of the ship and I have ammo and fuel. That's the other thing I need to grab is some fuel out of here. Let me see, we have 110. So we're gonna grab 30, 60, and we're gonna leave that for now. And we should be able to get the rest of this put together. So we can put that on the front. I'm also gonna end up putting a harvester on there, but for right now, I think, I think that should be good. We'll turn this off so that we can see. We'll get in here and we'll put in our that and that and we should be good to go. So yeah, we're gonna take our hovercraft out. That's, that's a complete hovercraft build. We're gonna take this thing out and we're probably gonna shoot that drone. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna take this thing out and we're gonna explore the rest of the planet. But that's all the time we're gonna have for episode two. So we're gonna have to do that in episode three. And yeah, so we're gonna take a trip around. We're gonna see what else, as you can see, we've got all this other stuff here and we need to explore that. And so, yeah, we're going to, it looks like, almost looks like South America right there. Yeah, we're going to take this around the planet. And so join me in episode three. Whoops. <laughs> join me in episode three. And because, yeah, we have all this stuff as I was showing you on the map. And we will see you then. Later.